it's Sam from Sam is Sam. And today I'm going to make a video on your makeup for shows. So yes, I'm on an exercise ball. That's on. Whoa. That's only because I didn't feel like bringing a chair out into my garage. And it's nice outside, but if I went out into the sun, I would actually need to wear sunglasses because of how bright it is. So I'm kind of a vampire and it's kind of, you know, chilling. So, it kind of looks like I'm outside, but I'm actually in my garage. So the first thing that you want to do, and I didn't do any of this prior, I waited. The only thing I did was I washed my face. You want to make sure you wash your face, that you're clean. Like, I was just at the barn. So you want to make sure that you're clean. And then, oh, sorry. I have some moisturizer, and I'm putting that on. You put that on before you put your makeup on. Um, especially since we're going into the um, the dust and everything when you ride. Depending on what arena you're in, usually they're dirt or dust or some kind of sand or something. And sometimes it can get a little dusty. So, I have the Olay Active Hydrating Cream. So, it just looks like this. All right. And then, got my bag of goodies here. I'm actually gonna do this and show you. So, just hang on. All right, so I have L'Oreal New True Match Compact, yeah, makeup. And I use this as a, um, not a foundation, what's it called? I forget what it's called right now. But, um, oh shoot, I forgot that thing. I dropped it. Oh, whatever. Um, I use it to cover up my dark circles, um, blemishes, um, redness, stuff like that. So, I don't have a lot left. I need to go get some more. But, um, then you just want to, and hopefully this doesn't look too bad. I don't have a mirror out here. Oh, but here, there's one under here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing this. And you know, just put it on like you normally would. And most people ask me if you should, like you have to have makeup for shows. I don't think you have to, but it makes you look more professional. So I highly suggest it. Hey, I'm getting tan. Um, I had my, um, I work at my barn and so... I was there today, and I'm getting tan <laughs> from having to be outside so much. Cover up all the redness, blemishes, make it even. Sorry, I thought I heard someone inside. Like I'm, I'm here by myself. There's, there's no one here. Sorry, I keep thinking someone's here. I'm not that anyway. So. All right. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can always put foundation over this, but I didn't feel like it. So. It's like, I'm not ashamed of how my face looks, so I'm not going to glob tons of makeup over my blemishes or anything. It's like, that's just me. Then, especially if you use foundation, usually you don't put this all over your face, okay? Usually you just put it circles, blemishes, blackheads, scars, things like that. And then, um, if you use foundation after that, you want to get um, a powder. And this powder is to keep your makeup in place. So if you put, um, if you put some suntan lotion on or anything, just be careful. Like you don't want to go crazy on it. But um, yeah, you might want to use some powder. So I'm just getting the powder out. Make sure it matches the color of your skin. Don't want to look like either like a vampire or like a super crazy tanner. Sorry, I got some blush. Oh. Some of it got on my brush, so I was just putting it on my face. 
Sorry, there's a mirror under here, so. And you just want to put it everywhere. And that's just to hold your makeup in place. Make sure you put some of everything on your neck. Um, if you're English or Western, you still want to put a little bit on your neck, no matter what kind of shirt you have. Because you don't want to look like uneven color. But like your color sure already match, but especially if they don't match too well. Okay. Done with that. Oh yeah, by the way, mine's CoverGirl. True, miner True Blend Minerals in number 105. Just saying. Uh, then, get some blush. Okay, mine is like special like roses in different colors. But just regular blush. Sorry, this ball is really hard to sit on. Woo! Okay, never mind. I can't sit sophisticated. Um, by the way, with blush, you want to go a little crazy. Because you want to be noticeable. And you want the judges to be like, oh, that girl, she's so, like, colorful. Because it's the same if you do plays or drama or anything with that. They're make you're, You put tons of makeup on, and that's so that they can see you. And you want to do the same with shows. You want to look like you got sunburn. Or, like, in some kind of eternal blushing or something. And make sure you make the blush look even. You kind of blend it out a little. And you take it the whole way out the cheek. After my favorite color is done with this, I'm probably going to stop using it. My favorite color is this, like, pink one right here. So... Just saying. And I got that from Forever 21 at my mall that I go to. What is that and why is it near me? What the heck? It's like a little bee. Okay. Now that I look like Snow White, um, so you can put that away. Like I said, you don't have to use any of the same products that I'm using. Um, just, I mean, well, like the same brands. Just make sure they're that, that kind, you know? Uh, there's a spider on me. Oh my lord. Okay, sorry. Then, this is one of my favorite things, and I use this for school, too. Um, no, it's not lipstick. It's called Watts Up. I got it from Sephora as a birthday treat thing. Um, it's a highlighter. It's by Benefit. You can see. Um, it's a highlighter. It's basically... Oh, my God, did it break? Oh, it broke. Okay, I'm just going to act like that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> it's like a stick. I'll swatch it. And it's like gold. Can you even see that? Like right there. Anyway, it's there. Um, and it's just a light tint of color. It's supposed to highlight your brow bone. Um, what I do is I take my finger and I rub it in on the top of it. And, uh, sorry, I need a mirror. Put it on my eyelid. And it's like a gold, so it just highlights your eyes. See, it's a brow highlighter, and you put it on your eyes, and it highlights your eye. And then slowly take it up to your brow bone. Not subtle, just slowly blend it up to your, um, take it up to your brow bone. You might have to do this a couple times, because the stuff is not very bright. And yes, I love this show makeup, and I do it about every time I go to a show. Take it 
pick it up. Make sure you get it in your creases and everything. So, yeah. Okay. So, again, this is called What's Up by Benefit. This is just a sampler size. I'm sure they come in bigger than this. But that's a sample. Oh, this ball makes my back hurt. By the way, I did get back from the barn, so I'm wearing breeches and, like, flower sure. <laughs> Sunscreen, but you use that at the end. boop -a doop boop boop -a doop Um, I have two kinds of mascara that you can use. This one is from Benefit. Um, and I really, really like that mascara. Like, I love it. Um, but this one's a little bit, um, less, um, crazy, I guess you could say. That one has, like, bristles that want to say, like, woo, eyes. And I want to say woo eyes, but not as much as that. <sighs> you can do the bottom if you want. Oh, shoot. And then you want to do the other eye. Yeah, so this has a mirror in the bottom, if you're wondering. So. It's funny. I, I don't understand this. I'm trying to sh I'm showing you guys what it looks like. And you can see my yard. It's really creepy. Sorry. All right. And then I'm going to do the other eye. If you don't do makeup a lot, this might take a little while to get used to, but I do makeup like every... Well, I used to do makeup every day for school, so... Well, not like every day, depending on... Oh, sorry, the sun is blinding me. If I was in like a good mood or not. More so if I felt like doing it. <laughs> So this is just like a regular brush, which I feel are better than like all those fancy brushes because those don't work. So, oops, wait, let me just like crack my back. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, but I was working all day and cleaning up poop and I was like bending over and my back hurts. Okay, so there's that. Um, yep. And I think the eyes are the best feature in a person. So if there's something that you don't want to mess up, it's definitely your eyes. Um, I wouldn't really recommend eyeliner too much because I don't think you need to go that far. You don't need it to stick out like Lady Gaga or anything. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. The next thing I have is Super Stay 10 Stain Gloss by Maybelline. Actually, it's a, it's stain gloss, I'm sorry. So it's a stain, and it's in the number 100, and it's called Pink Plush. And this is very bright, I have to say. Okay. So you, your lips are another thing that you want to stick out. And this is not, this is like a liquid more than a gloss, so... And like I said, it's stained, so be careful what you, where you put it. And I mean, it will come off. It'll just... It's going to take a little more than, like, water. <sighs> Make sure you get your Cupid's bow to really outline your lips. And for those who don't know what a cupid bow is, it's like this little divot where your lip goes down. It's called a cupid's bow. See, my cupid's bow is really easy to see. So if yours isn't, outline it. Like, seriously. It's a really good quality to have. 
put your lips together. So, um, then, since this is a stain, it's not really a gloss and it kind of dries quickly, so you take a gloss and put it over the stain. No, this is not going to mess it up or anything. Oh, my neck hurts. Put your lips together. Rub them around a little. Last but not least, I'm gonna take some perfume. Um, no, you don't need tons loads. Like girls at school in the locker room are like, they'll do like 20 squirts. Literally, I'm not joking. Like I choke on that stuff when they go and walk through 20 more skirt, squirts and walk through again. It's like, are you trying to kill us all? Ready? Watch, this is magic. Wait. It's not working. Hold on. Hold up, y'all. Okay, ready? One and done. There we go. Ooh, this might not upload. It looks too long. Okay, anyway. So, that's basically everything that you need to do. Um, the final product is this. You look nice. Everyone will notice you and how beautiful you are. Even if your horse goes and has a bucking fit, you'll still look beautiful. So, sorry about my hair. My hair looks bad. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy the video. Comment, rate, subscribe. And um, if you want us to do a certain kind of video, um, we can do that. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.